Hello everyone, this is Jiang Kim again. I'm a Container Specialist Solutions Architect at Amazon Web Services, and this is a series of lightning talk on ECS and Fargate. Today, we are going to talk about ECS auto scaling with demo. First of all, let's figure out what auto scaling on ECS is. So when we are talking about auto scaling on ECS, the fundamental unit of scale is a task. And a task is basically a collection of one or more containers, usually one, but sometimes more than one in case of sidecars. And tasks have resource limits. Those resource limits are the fundamental limits of any computing resources in AWS, including CPU, memory, IOPS, and network bandwidth. In ECS, customers can declare task limit for CPU and memory. In Fargate, it is required, but in EC2, it is optional. Getting started with auto scaling, you need to identify a scaling metric which will be a criteria for triggering scaling. Scaling metric is a metric that is an indicia of the current demand on the overall application. Therefore, as demand grows, the value either increases as demand or falls within the metric decreases. But it could be the inverse as well, just depending on the metric you choose. In order to be an effective scaling metric, that metric has to be a proportional metric. And what proportional metric means, it has to have a particular behavior about it. For instance, if we hold the number of tasks in our service steady, and if load doubles, then the value of the metric has to be doubled as well. Of course, with most modern runtimes and web workloads, a scaling metric might be a CPU, but it really depends on your workload's characteristics. So make sure that your scaling metric is proportional. In ECS, each scaling policies are powered by application auto scaling, which is technically different with EC2 auto scaling. Application auto scaling is configured through policies. And there are three kinds of policies that can be used, which is target tracking, subscaling, and scheduled scaling. With target tracking, first of all, you can choose the metric you want to track and then choose the value that you want that metric try to stay at. After configuration, the auto-scaling engine adjusts the number of tasks automatically to make them the value and keep that value stable. It is very easy to configure and low maintenance. With step scaling, you can choose the metric threshold by yourselves and choose exactly how many resources to add or remove when a threshold gets crossed. It is the most customizable, but it is also one of the most challenging policies to configure. Therefore, it is important to configure those parameters based on abundant experience from operating your workload. And then finally, scheduled scaling is very simple. At a certain time of day, the number of resources are set to the target value. It is also very straightforward, and you can easily say this is similar to the cron job. Today, I have prepared a demo regarding target tracking based on average CPU utilization. But before that, let's take a look what target tracking scaling is in a bit more detail. I told you that the most common scaling policy is target tracking. You can see here that I have created a policy. My target metric is a CPU utilization percent that the average value. 
and the target value is a 70%. So this is the value that we are going to try to approach. And you can see here that over time, my CPU utilization average has crossed the 70% threshold. We are now in bridge and application autoscaling is going to react by increasing my task count from 10 to 12. And then in some time, what's going to happen is the amount of average CPU utilization is going to fall and we are going to approach that 70% target value that we want. So this is fairly straightforward and very simple to understand and used by majority of customers. So, like always, let's jump into the ECS console. Uh, I already prepared sample service for today's auto-scaling demo. Uh, for examining how this service has been set up, click this service and click the update button. As you can see, the number of desired tasks is 2. Scroll down a little bit and open the service auto scaling tab. Um, this service auto scaling has a minimum size of two tasks and a maximum size of five tasks. Bottom of that, target tracking is configured and scaling metric is ECS service average CPU utilization. By default, we provide average CPU, average memory, and application load balancer request per target. But you can also use customized metric. In this demo, I'm going to use average CPU utilization. In terms of target value, I have set this value to 20% to ensure a smooth demo with quick scaling. Let's move to the CloudWatch console and figure out more. I already made ECS dashboard with two graphs as you can see. One is for the average CPU utilization for sample service and the other one is for the running and the desired task account. Since most of the time those two values are almost similar, they overlapped at this point in this graph. And I did the load testing behind the scene, as you can see in here. Um, average CPU utilization has exceeded 20% and accordingly, uh, the scale operation is also uh, in progress and you can see in here, we are running task count, uh, meet the desired task count. In addition, I want to show you CloudWatch alarm also. Since service auto-scaling creates and manages the CloudWatch alarms, you can see the alarms associated with target tracking scaling. Checking condition tab, and as you can see in here, um, <clears throat> you can see uh, the same um, scaling condition I have set up in ECS service. When in alarm, scaling policy is going to be executed. This is all I have to share today. Please keep in mind which metric is right for auto-scaling and three kinds of auto-scaling policies. If you have any questions or feedback, drop me a line. Thanks to watch Lightning Talk on ECS and Fargate. See you next time.